Dada. Hey, what's up, Mama? What's neurogenic bladder? What's neurogenic bladder? Okay, so neurogenic bladder is a condition where the brain or the nervous system and the bladder, they break the communication, meaning that the nerves cannot innervate or they cannot communicate with the bladder adequately, so you can't pee. And so there's spastic neurogenic bladder, which means that the nerve is severed or cut or injured because of a spinal cord injury, because of abdominal surgery, or something that disrupts the communication between the nerves and the muscles of the bladder. And you can have spastic neurogenic bladder, which means the muscles, they spaz a lot, and that causes a fluctuation between flaccid or flaccid flaccidness, meaning you have complete incontinence, which means that you're peeing out a lot, or you have urinary retention because of the spasticity. So for patients that have neurogenic bladder in the type of spastic, you have to do um, intermittent catheterization, which means you have to put a catheter inside of their, uh, into their urethra so you can empty out the bladder because otherwise then you'll develop a urinary retention, hydronephrosis, eventually pyelonephritis, things of that nature. Uh, so you have to remember as a student that people with neurogenic bladder that have spastic or they have retention of urine, you have to straight catheterize them every two to four hours. Then you have like flaccid neurogenic bladder, which means the patient has complete um, loss avoiding control, which means they're always peeing out. Those patients may be required to have an indwelling urinary catheter because the patient's urine is just coming out all the time. It may cause skin breakdown and things of that nature. And so in a nutshell, mama, that's what neurogenic bladder is. It's important though, for students to understand that they're gonna have to be given medications that are antispasmodics to stop the spasticity, to allow the muscles to relax and hopefully have some degree of, um, of emptying their bladder because if people don't empty their bladder, they have urinary retention, they may develop things like UTIs. And so, that, in a nutshell, is neurogenic bladder model.